Hi everyone, this is Ipi. I'm a Sales and Business Gallery Manager of Ipala Estate. Today, we just finished the groundbreaking ceremony. Hence, I would like to introduce you with the Mrs. Stephen Purvis, Head of Real Estate Yumalan, which is Yuma Leading Real Estate Developer in Yango. Hello, Stephen. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'd like to ask you about the hay. First of all, my question is what makes the hay difference? Makes the hills different. It's a good question. Right. Well, first of all, let me tell you what it is in simple terms. It's a family house. It's four and a half thousand square foot, so it's quite big. On the ground floor, first floor, and second floor. Four bedrooms, all with ensuite bathrooms, very large kitchen, very large dining room, um, kids' playroom, home entertainment. It's got many, many different terraces, but all the terraces are covered. Swimming pool. A gazebo with an outdoor gas barbecue and a nice uh, uh, landscape garden, plenty of trees. Um, what else has it got? I think it's fair to say that it's unique actually because it's a combination of two things. Firstly, we're very pleased to, to be working once more with Mia Mizu from MIT Signature, who is one of the most talented designers working today in Yangon. Um, she's well known to, to in the design community and the real estate business. Um, um, as I said, we've had the pleasure of working with her before, but this is the first time where we've co-branded something. And what she's done is she's brought a nice sort of relaxed Californian glamour uh, to, uh, to Pun Line. It's a fresh, uh, white, clean, uncluttered look. It manages to be both modern um, a, a quite contemporary, but with a sort of traditional twist to it. Um, I think it, she's managed to, to, to think up a lot of quite unique little details in terms of bathrooms yes. and kitchens and some of the outdoor spaces, etc., etc. So, very nice, fresh, innovative design from, from Mia. And from the other side, with uh, our own internal design group, SBA, what we've done is, is we, we spent a year listening to customers, potential customers and, and people that live here to try and get a better idea of, of what they actually wanted and what was missing in the market. And it became quite clear that our core customer for this limited edition project was going to be young, me and my professional couple with one or two kids, maybe a grandparent living with them, certainly grandparents visiting. Lots of kids coming in and out of the house, maybe some pets, a few staff wanting to live in the house. So a busy but private family home. So that's basically what the hill is. Thank you, Stephen. My next question is, why is Alan so special? The best person to answer that or the best people to answer that will be the thousand or so men, women and children that, that live here. Um, the community at Punline has been going for over 25 years. Um, behind me you can see, I hope you can see anyway, the 18-hole Gary Player golf course that was uh, um, um, initiated by uh, our chairman, Serge Pun, 20, 25 years ago. And the whole community is really constructed and built around this, this golf course. So everybody enjoys these tremendous views. And that's like the green lung right at the middle of the community. So one of the things that makes Punline special in all the residential developments in Yangon is that everybody can enjoy the outside, the, the, the natural environment from the comfort of their own home. But it's a great place. We've got a BMX track for kids to do their BMX in safety. There's six, six mile uh, perimeter road around Pan Lions, which is perfect for running, walking, exercising in safety. Um, it's a very secure environment. We've got our own security team that, that control the perimeter and make sure that everybody is safe and secure. And of course, during COVID, um, this has meant that we can lock down the complete environment in total safety. Yeah. We've also got interesting things like an international hospital, um, Panlain Silom, which is famous uh, in Yangon, and we've got Dulwich International School, which is the best international school as well, plus a whole range of other facilities uh, that you'd expect, uh, uh, a spa, um, swimming pool, tennis courts, uh, many restaurants. We've got the Awimeta Hotel with a full range of facilities at the hotel. So it's the complete 
uh, everything that you could possibly want, basically, in terms of your life is available inside this gated community. That's why Punline is, is special. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, my last question is, what is the future of Punline? <clears throat> uh, the future? Well, the, the future uh, can go on for a long time, so yeah. who knows? But I'll tell you about the next six months or so. The next six months, we'll be finishing some, some facilities. There's a new golf academy, which we're just finishing. A new golf pro has just started, actually, and, and so that will improve the, the, the service that we've got uh, for the golf course. And there'll be a new pro shop opening at the golf course as well. Um, restaurants are always being upgraded and changed. But I think the big news, in addition to the hills, which is limited edition of just nine um, uh, properties, landed properties, We've also found that there's a strong demand in the market for um, young Burmese people who want a luxury condo. Um, so these will be relatively modest in size, 1,200 square foot, two bed units with balconies, etc. But we haven't built any condos here, um, apartments at, at Punline for five or six years. Um, we completed a series of eight towers, eight-storey towers in, let's say, five, six years ago. These were all three-bed, and it's become apparent to us that there's a strong demand for, um, for again, for young Burmese people and foreigners as well who, who wish to basically take, take advantage of living in Pun Line for two-bed units and maybe one-bed units. So that's what we'll be launching next year. Exciting new project. Thank you.